So I've heard that in Australia, Santa came with like surfing ball or something. <laughs> is, that, is that true? Um, a lot of people <laughs> do actually have Christmas on the beach. On the beach? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, thank you for your time today. Can I ask you where you're from? Oh, yeah, Australia. 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 Nice. How long have you been in Japan so far? Just a week. Mm. So far, a week? Yeah. Like, yes. where have you been? Oh, we've been to Tokyo, Tokyo. Uh, Nara, mm. and we just came to Kobe after we went to Osaka. Osaka. Yeah. All right. So, like, I bet you came here to try Kobe booth. <laughs> yes, have, yes, have you have you tried it already? No, no, yeah. No, yeah. We no. just we just arrived at Kobe. Okay, okay. <laughs> so. Today's topic is about Christmas, Christmas like day, like what you guys do on the Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's your plan on this Christmas day? Okay, um, I'm probably going to be spending Christmas with my family. Family? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How yeah. about you? Um, my family isn't actually a big Christmas um, family, so mm -hmm. we don't actually do a lot of the Christmas traditions. Mm -hmm. But we're hoping to just um, do a nice little getaway somewhere probably down a Gold Coast or mm. somewhere else. And just, yeah, it's really just about spending time with family. Family. Yeah. So, so in Japan, yeah, so on the Christmas day, mm. we tend to spend time with like your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mm -hmm. you know, like when you go out on the Christmas day, you are, you're gonna see a lot of like couples. Mm. Oh, you know, okay. you guys don't like spend like time with your boyfriends and stuff. Um, we we do try to visit our friends if we can, but oftentimes they're actually very busy with their families as well. Okay. So yeah, we're very big family focus mm -hmm. um, in Australia, and if we have time, we'll go visit our friends as well and other distant families mm. <laughs> and relatives. I was in London, right? Mm -hmm. And then when I was in London, the Christmas day. Like there's no store like open. Mm, right, yes. Yes. Even train is not mm. running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In Japan, all of like stores open, restaurants yeah. open. Yeah, yeah. So how about in Australia? All closed. Yeah, everything's <laughs> closed. Like the big, the big, big stores, like you know, to get food or like, like basic necessities. Yeah, mm -hmm. the supermarkets are open, but most of the stores are closed. Yeah, everything is closed, so you kind of have to spend time at home with your family to cook, and then like. <laughs> a lot of people do actually have Christmas on the beach. On the beach? <laughs> I know, it's a big stereotype, but there's actually a lot of people who do it as well. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Because the season is opposite to Japan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so summer there. It's summer, it's hot, so yeah, you guys spend time. It's like a big holiday and everyone, um, we have Christmas Eve off mm -hmm. and Christmas Day. And then the day after we have Boxing Day. Mm -hmm. which I don't even know what it is. It's a, it's a public holiday. It's a public holiday. It's oh, okay. three days in a row that we get um, off. So yeah, that's why people either go out somewhere like uh, you know, like I said, like my family might go go to Gold Coast, mm -hmm. but um, that's why they go to the beach and just spend the entire day at the beach. That's nice. With the barbecue, with everything that nice, you can imagine. Nice. Have you ever worked on the Christmas Day? I haven't worked no, on Christmas I, Day. I haven't Never. worked on Christmas Day. No. Yeah. Yeah, but there are definitely people who do work on Christmas days because we have um, public holiday mm -hmm. rates, which means you get paid more. Yeah, you get, ah. paid, you get paid so extra much. money. So yeah. so much like yeah. how much it's like, like do double, you get? double, yeah. double, yeah. double, or like double and a half. Yeah. Oh my god. So yeah, everyone's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, work, on, I'll work on Christmas <laughs> for money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I've heard that in Australia, Santa came with like surfing ball or something. <laughs> is, is that is that true? Um, like when I was when you were a child, yeah, did you believe that uh, or just like okay. just bullshit or something? I think the thing is, is that um, Santa is mostly known to come down chimneys with like a bag of presents and mm -hmm. everything. In Australia, we really don't have chimneys. The Chimney. stuff, Chimney. Yeah, it's like the thing that with the Santa, fireplace. Yeah, the fireplace. Ah. Santa comes yeah. out. We don't have that. Uh -huh. don't have um, <laughs> and it, it makes no sense yeah, when exactly. he's like dressed up in his warm clothes because it's way too hot <laughs> to actually be wearing those clothes. So I think they changed it a little bit. It's different yeah. for me because uh -huh. I grew up in Ireland, okay. so it's mm. cold up there. And so mm. when I was young, when you still believed in Santa mm. Claus, mm -hmm. it made sense to me. Yeah. But then when I came down to Australia, I was like, oh. Um, I, I didn't. Mean, yeah. yeah, I grew up in Vietnam for three years. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's still back then, it, and it was winter there, mm -hmm. but it was still not a big thing. So, did I ever believe in Santa Claus? No, not no. Really. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in Australia that do believe in Santa Claus, despite it not making sense. Ah. Uh. <laughs> He might come with like house leave and stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there, there's photos like that. There's posters yeah, and there, photos. Already? Oh, yeah, yeah. there are. The Sunday is house leave. Yeah, yeah. They, put it, they put it up <laughs> for Christmas. Yeah. On the like surfing board or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've seen something like that. Yeah, I've definitely same, seen same. Like, <laughs> on the I've seen him with shorts and sunglasses. <laughs> exactly. So, did, yeah. you, did you guys like still get like presents from Santa? Because you didn't believe it. Like, when, 
when I was in Thailand, yeah, mm-hmm. my mom told me that if you didn't believe the Santa, mm-hmm. Santa wouldn't come. Mm-hmm. You can't get like right, right. yeah. present from Santa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I pretend to be, you know, believe in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how about you guys? Like, because um, you didn't believe it, right? We still got presents. My family just didn't really care about Santa. It's <laughs> okay. like, okay, whatever. You're getting presents. So that's just the tradition of oh, okay. Christmas. But yeah, a lot of Australian families still go along with the whole Santa thing mm-hmm. and like make sure you're being good because then you get presents from Santa. <laughs> you don't want to be on his naughty list or anything. Okay. But yeah, that's just my family. Yeah, when I was young, we believed in Santa and my parents gave us presents. And then when we stopped believing in Santa, it just became like family giving each other presents oh, okay. more than Santa giving mm-hmm. presents. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I made up. Okay, the interview is over here. Thank you for time today. Yeah, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you guys. Your yeah, sure, why not? Do you guys have, have Japanese food? Yeah, okay. but sushi is really big um, in Japan. It's, uh, in it's really funny. It's really funny. Um, this isn't the first time someone said this, mm-hmm. but people, a lot of, especially Australian so people, come mm-hmm. here expecting sushi to be good because the sushi is really big down there. Yeah, but yeah. The, the, like, the menu is entirely different. Mm-hmm. So, like, different. in <laughs> Australia, we uh-huh. have like a lot of chicken, a lot of like, um, grilled stuff and a little bit of fish but here it's like basically everything seafood and fish of course and all raw and like back in um, Australia it's most of them are cooked and you rarely like sometimes get a little bit of raw fish mm-hmm. so that's like the biggest difference oh. they're like oh my god I came to come here and have like real sushi and then they see <laughs> all seafood all raw seafood and they get a little bit shocked <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah where we live there's like a sushi place maybe like every like on 10 kilometers at least it's so there's yeah, so there's sushi. so many mm. yeah, sushi is seen as a very like quick and easy thing to eat and like a small thing to eat and most people enjoy it yeah yeah mm. i think it was like in australia when they give it when they give you the sushi they give you like the wasabi and the soy sauce and different packets right mm-hmm. we went to this one sushi place in tokyo and i sat down and i'm like i'm excited i'm gonna eat my sushi mm-hmm. and i eat it and there's like wasabi in the sushi yeah. I, I, like it's how it's supposed to be exactly like yeah. i wasn't used to that and the thing is i'm usually pretty good with spicy food okay uh-huh. like i'm like indian okay like okay. spicy is good but wasabi is something completely different yeah it's like true, it's true. not even spicy it like hurts my mouth it like <laughs> stabs my tongue and so i bite this and i'm like crying <laughs> it was horrible. so you don't you don't like wasabi then i was traumatized <laughs> i was traumatized I think he put wasabi too much into the like the yeah. or something. What what made you come to Japan? We just graduated high school in Australia. Where how 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 old are you guys? I'm eighteen. Eighteen. And I'm, 18. And I'm yeah. seventeen. <laughs> how okay. old did you think we were? Take take, take a, I, I thought like you guys are like same age as me. How old are you? Take a guess. I'm scared. I'm, I'm no, it's fine. I'm no, guess no, around no twenty five. Twenty five? Mm-hmm. How about you? I'll, I'll twenty three. You're right. I'm right. Twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. <laughs> I've seen like as like eight, like eighteen, twenty. Mm. When I was in London, I mm. have to like sh- like show ID. Mm. Like every time I go to like supermarket mm. to when I try to get like alcohol, yeah, yeah. like tobacco, even in Japan. Mm. Right, right, right. So they ask me for ID. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm twenty five. Yeah, really sad because like, not like, even tra- close to the eight, to eighteen or something. Yeah, because like now that I'm eighteen in Australia, I can drink, and then I come over here and they're like, no. Yeah, yeah 20. I'm like, it's but, 20. But it's fine though, I think. You, yeah, can, you can grab it, right? I don't know. I, I hear they're pretty relaxed, but yeah. I don't want to risk it because what if I get, get like deported? deported? <laughs> it's, a big it's not a big thing. It's <laughs> fine. Totally I'll, t- fine. I'll tell them. I'll, I'll say he said he was okay. <laughs> it's not my fault. I'll rest <laughs> So yeah, um, we came here because we finished graduate high school and we wanted to do a trip overseas. Like, what, why did you choose Japan then? Um, well, it sounded fun. It, just sounded, it sounded fun, fun and fun. it was sort of close. Like it wasn't it was, like too ah, far yeah, away. Because Asia true. would be like the closest continent to Australia. And I've always wanted to go to Japan. Nice. Sorry to disturb you guys. Oh, it's I okay. Thank it. you so much. Thank this was you. really fun. Yeah. So you're going to have a uh, probably beef? Yeah. Yes. Do you have any recommendations yeah, on where to get it? Uh, let's see. Yeah, like, I'm from here, yeah. but... I don't really have coffee. That's what I was thinking. It's too expensive. Uh-huh. Mm. When I was walking here, I was just like, I wonder if like people who live here are sick of beef. Yeah. That's yeah. The same I'm not like sick of beef. It's just yeah. expensive. Right. I love to eat it every day. <laughs> it's not. It's the same as it's my everyday, everyday thing. <laughs> what, what, what's the like, um, 
like famous for like coconut food in Australia. So what do you guys do usually eat? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing. Like Australian food, we don't really have a proper cuisine. We don't have yeah. anything famous, famous. Like there are certain things we like to claim as our own, mm-hmm. but we didn't invent it. Uh, yeah, we just like, we just serve it a lot, but we didn't invent it. Like the top like Australian foods are like Vegemite. I don't you probably Vegemite. Have, you have you yeah. heard of Vegemite? Never. It's like um there's something that's close to it in uh, in England. The mama. Marmite? Have you had Marmite when you were in England? It's like this brown paste, and a lot of people in like Australia love it because they know how to eat it. You're only you're meant to have like this much butter and this much Vegemite or something. Ah, and, like, you put it on toast like, or something. Yeah, Vegemite. you put it on toast. Yeah, I've seen it before. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very salty. Is that salty? Sort of yeah, yeah. When you go down to Australia and someone gives you Vegemite, you not take too much. Okay. Everyone makes a mistake of like having an entire teaspoon <laughs> like, and they like smart. gag and they like, <laughs> like spit it out straight away. It's it's meant to be put on toast and a little bit as well. Mm. But, um, and then no. there's like sausage on bread. So we literally just get a piece of bread, bread and so put a sausage on it and then eat it like Australian that. Cuisine. <laughs> that's it. That's all we have. It's like hot dog. Like, yeah, sort of. But like instead we of call like, it a sanga. Sanga. A sanga. It's, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. But there's also like meat pies and sausage rolls. I'm pretty sure we did not eat that, yeah. but we just kind of make it our own. <laughs> <laughs> just make it out. Yeah, 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 that's the thing. Like, like Australia is really like multicultural, so mm. it's mul- everyone there, like Europe, Asia, all these countries just came and brought their own food. And so pretty much everyone in Australia just eats food from other countries. Yeah. Like, there's nothing really. Yeah. Nice. yeah. But you can eat like food like from all over the world, right? In Japan, yeah. we only have, not only have the, almost all the food, like mm. restaurant, Japanese food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not Italian food, food, not Indian food. Right. Like Australia, food. there's a When I was in London, I enjoy like, you know, eating food. Yeah. I can eat proper Indian food, I can eat proper, I don't know, Jamaican food, or like, yeah, yeah, exactly. whatever. That's the thing. So you're gonna go to university? Yeah, I'm planning to go to university. I wanna go to Monash University in Melbourne. Melbourne, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna. Excited? Yeah. We, I don't find out if I get into the January. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> okay. You guys are still young, right? Yeah. Teach me one, like, very useful slang in Australia. Slang. Which is used, like, very often in Australia. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm into, like, oh, slang yeah. in like, foreign countries, like, yeah. in London. Do you know, like, what one? Oh, isn't it, like, Jamaica, Jamaica, but like people in London. Yeah, use like, it. Yeah, use they it. Use it a lot. Okay. Like in it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, one that comes to mind that I never realised it was in Australian is like reckon. Is it like reckon. Do you reckon, do you reckon, do you reckon do you think? this? Yeah, sort yeah. of. But instead of saying think, do you reckon this? Oh, I reckon this and that. Oh. And you guys use it a lot. Yeah, we use it a lot, a lot. Yeah. Like we. Yeah, it's, we, it just comes natural in our vocabulary. Oh. It's not even a slang in our minds, it's just a word. Yeah. But when, you, when you hear someone using Lepon, you're gonna like guess like they are from Australia. Yeah, most yeah, definitely. Yeah. Most mm. oh, my question is why are there so many little kids dressed up to people? Uh, it's a Japanese traditional like, no ceremony. Like, oh, okay. she goes at like 7, yeah. 5, 3. Yeah. So I think that she's probably 5 years old or something. Yeah, yeah. Like when you're three years old, when you're five years old and seven years old, mm-hmm. you're gonna take a picture like this okay. for memories, like for like travel, how you grow. Ah, okay, cool. We were like trying to figure it out. We were, I just thought they looked cute. Yeah. When, I was, when I was like three, five, I had to like wear mm-hmm. those like clothes which I didn't like. Because uh-huh. <laughs> it's, you know, like it's kind of like I just want to play, you know, with four or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And my mom, you know. Me wear like those like suits and stuff. It's yeah. cool to look back Boring. on it though when you were young. <laughs> oh. And it's like temple, right? A shrine? Yeah. So people come there and take a picture. Exactly, that's so good. Alright, guys, thank you. Thank you so much.